Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? I'm EDC Gunner and they're gonna talk to you about the five... I have a list here, yeah? Uh, five uh, watches you should not buy. And this video is aimed for someone who's newbie who knows nothing about watches. If you know something about watches, don't watch it. It's not for you. This is for you who are maybe want to get into watches, you want to start collecting, you want to just buy your first watch or you want to buy a watch as a gift to someone. So stay away from these watches. Number one, fashion watches. So general rule of thumb for me is if I can buy underwear from that brand, I'm not going to buy a watch. So Calvin Klein, Giorgio Armani, Fossil, Michael Kors, you can buy a woman's purse, don't buy a watch. It's no good. Why? Because they, they, they just want to cash in on the brand name, which I don't blame them. We are not communists here. Uh, but they just outsource the production to China. They commission uh, a watch and it's usually better quality than the run-of-the-mill Chinese watch. But they commission a watch, uh, make it like this and like this. They put a Japanese movement, usually Miola sits in, which is good. But at the end of the day, does not, it's not worth the money. And uh, then at, at the end of the day, they just slap a name. They put Armani, Michael Kors, they put a lot of diamonds and whatnot. But they, ha they make some handsome watches, but they're not, they're not it. Uh, they are not definitely that. So uh, don't buy that. I will tell you at the end of this list, there's only five items here. I will tell you what to buy. So make sure to stick around. Uh, I know a little bit about watches. I'm not gonna say I'm a watch expert because I'm modest, but I do know a lot about watches. I, I don't like those guys who claim to be experts. Anyways, number two, I'm not gonna talk about this all day. Number two, gold plated watches, gold color watches. Now, back in the days when the gold was cheap, they make they made a gold plated watches. It was 10 microns, 20 microns, even 40 microns, and it's a layer of gold gold filled on the watch usually on brass watches or on a uh, I have a strong light behind so that's why the eye so forgive me my good people uh, nowadays they're making electrolyzers like you have a rims and uh, chemical materials and they just paint the gold trouble with the gold color besides it being so tacky is that it will wear off in a month or two, when you're sweat, uh, you're rubbing your sleeves and whatnot, it will become discolorated, it will turn nasty and ugly. So stainless steel is your best bet, or solid gold, so or platinum. But stainless steel is the best cheap material for watch. They also make watches from wood, titanium, plastic, but stainless steel is the king, trust me. They make Rolexes from stainless steel, enough said. As we all know, Rolex is the best brand. We are right. Yeah. Uh, number three, uh, replicas, copies. Uh, depends on where you live. Uh, you have copies widely available all around, like I have. Uh, if you live or somewhere where there's FBI, and then you can order it online, and there's. 3A replicas, like the top grade replicas, thousand euros, thousand dollars replicas, and the ten dollars replicas, they all bullshit. They they are not good, they're trash, and pretty often they use child labor and you are not fooling anyone. Anyone who you have in your head, you can fool with your fake Rolex or fake Breitling, whatever watch, they know. And they know you are faker and they know they know they that you are a bullshitter and you they will not I will not trust you if you're wearing a fake watch. You're tr trying to portray something that you are not, and that's not good. Unless you're trying to impress a girl, and that's a wrong girl for you. I'm, I'm sorry. That's a wrong girl for you if you impress her with your watch. Just pump and dump. Uh number four, oversized watches. That watch is too small. Uh, back in 2005, 6, I don't know when, uh, the 
fashion trend of oversized watches came out and it was blown up over the proportions it's it's like 50 millimeters like you have a dinner plate uh, on your wrist or flying saucer or whatnot general from 35 to 45 is decent amount of sizes for everyone's wrist someone has a big wrist so i get it you can get a 45 but over that it's just overkill even for arnold and uh, 40 millimeters is the sweet spot uh, 42 38 39 great but over that and below that you're gonna have to have a really small wrist or piaget uh okay number five and that's it then i will tell you what to buy number five are smart watches now these this number five smart watches are the least uh troublesome of all of this i mentioned i would be most happier if you would get a smart watch before oh, number one two three and four because smart watches are just like a cell phone on your wrist and uh Basically, you have a cell phone on your wrist and your pocket and I need, maybe I can wear it on my second wrist and wear my proper watch here. They do not hold any value. They are not, nothing special. You have to charge them all the time and uh, they are just a hustle. And special Apple smartwatches with the golden ones, they are so not worth the money. And uh, you buy a proper mechanical watch for the money of that and you will still have your money in it unless you buy a fashion watch so smart watches are the least troublesome but it's something i would not recommend you buy so that's my number five and uh, now i'm gonna tell you what brands to buy so we are dealing here with the entry level and in entry level seiko from japan is the king they make the best watches in every price range, but in entry level, they make some great value for money. <sighs> They're a Japanese brand, another Japanese brand, Orient. Just check them out, Orient. Make array for everyone. They make watches, mechanical, quartz, solar, titanium, steel. You name it, they are making it. Citizen, also great company. That's like a holy trinity of affordable watches. Everything, everything else is overpriced, in my opinion. You can get Swiss, you can get T-cell quartz for the same price, but it's going to be overpriced. And quartz to sell these days are not the best, trust me. And uh, yeah, uh, these three brands are all Japanese. Japanese. Japanese people make some great watches and they minister... Uh, resigns if their train is late like two minutes so enough said 